Hi friends, and welcome to week three of How Not to Diet Book Club. We read pages 61 through 90, and Dr. Greger went into great detail about different types of bariatric surgery. My family has experience with that. Uh, as you can see in this picture, all of us siblings are either overweight or obese, and not necessarily from fat genes, but from poor habits. Um, eating too much processed food, e eating too much rich food, eating too much high cholesterol food. Um, my brother Mike on the right was in a car accident and wound up in a wheelchair and gained a lot of weight. He was in tremendous pain and felt like bariatric surgery was his only option. Um, he chose the Ruin Y gastric bypass surgery and um, that year he lost about 240 pounds but part of that was because uh, of inflammation the passages that would have let uh, food through swelled closed and he had to have five surgeries to repair that damage um, he's not been able to eat real food much since then and uh, his nutrition has suffered tremendously. His teeth were damaged and over time his memory and cognitive ability have been damaged and a few years back he um, also got an infection um, and a bowel obstruction and his large intestines died. He now has about five inches of intestines at the very end, uh, large intestines he has suffered tremendously and will wear a little poop bag for the rest of his life, an ostomy bag, and it can blow a gasket and cause nasty, stinky messes. Um, my brother Chip in the center uh, gained quite a bit of weight and at 315 pounds decided that it was time to have lap band surgery in Arizona and um, it was $20,000 to put in, um, but a year later, after the surgery, it had broke into pieces. He was in the hospital and in convalescent centers for five months. And I asked him, well, how much did it cost to take that out? And he said, everything I had. I also had, a year before Chip did, I had the gastric lap band surgery uh, because it was elective surgery um, my insurance wouldn't pay for it but i was so discouraged after doing every diet under the sun and i was just over 300 pounds i can't even remember how much i was maybe 380 i don't remember um but i paid the twenty thousand dollars a year later mine exploded in pieces uh tearing up my insides giving me blood poisoning i was in the hospital for only three weeks at with a they had to leave the wound open to heal from the inside out so they would put these big black sponges um coiled sponges place them in they don't uh give you any anti what do you call it, uh, painkillers when they put it in or when they take it out to uh, replace it. Anyway, went through that for six weeks. Um, but the biggest thing was I lost my health from that. I was in a wheelchair for I don't know how long after that. I, I had to quit my job, I had to re do medical retirement. Uh, I lost my health, my career, uh, it cost over $100,000 to take that out. And because it was elective surgery, insurance wouldn't pay for anything. Um, I died twice on the table. It, it was a very, very expensive proposition. And I only lost 30 pounds. My brother Chip, with his explosion, he only lost 40 pounds with his weight loss um, surgery. I was humbled to the dirt. I. I lost hope and for a long time I didn't even dream. I mean physically I did not dream and thank heavens 
a few years later, my nephew um, asked me to watch a movie called Forks Over Knives. And I consider it a gift from God that I was able, I was presented with another option. My life was not, didn't have to be over at that point. That if I changed to a whole plant food diet, I could reverse heart disease. I could reverse diabetes. I could reverse the GERD that developed from throwing up for four years of having a lap band surgery when no food would go down. It would, anyway, sorry. Um, I was able to reverse my autoimmune diseases and the fear that I felt from the stroke that took my father and the, auto, the uh, Alzheimer's that took my mother, all of that fear was replaced because with a whole plant food diet, it reverses heart disease and heart disease related um, conditions like stroke and Alzheimer's. I'm so grateful for the new lease on life that I have. I've lost over 200 pounds with a whole food plant-based diet. And every side effect of that is a positive side effect. I've saved so much money. I'm no longer on metformin and the 14 meds that I used to be on. Um, I didn't have to spend money on diet pills that have horrible side effects. And I, I never got into the diet supplement thing because I just kind of felt like that was a money maker for a whole bunch of different people. I'm grateful that I can eat whole plant food, lose weight, well, eat more, lose weight, and feel better. I mean, what a deal. I'm grateful for the learning that we will take place with this book, How Not to Diet, and I look forward to exploring it more with you. Remember, you matter. Never give up. I'll see you next week.